Woohoo! I have a hundred subscribers! Welcome to my channel and for a very special edition of the Question Answers Jubilee celebrations, I have got the book of questions. I've got seven balloons to represent each decade of the Queen. I've already lost two of them, but I've got the bits of food. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, some snacks, and we'll go through the questions. So, are you ready? The first question of many, and it is of course one of the most asked questions for me, is what made you decide to start a YouTube channel? Well, there's a very, very simple and quick answer to that, and that is coronavirus. Uh, that was the short answer. The long answer was, well, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos through coronavirus and I thought, if only I could film videos of me doing my cleaning and help get my clients cleaning, especially some of the elderly ones, then yeah, that was what I wanted to do. Did it help some of my elderly clients? No, not really. So, I did actually end up with a YouTube channel. It may not have helped with my clients, but it meant that all of you started watching my channel. So that was the longer answer. Um, the next question is, how do you figure out what's a video and is it difficult to find a subject or a matter that easily? Well, I have actually filmed many videos so far and there have been quite a few that are still sitting there unedited like back in March so I have photograph photographed filmed the bluebells uh, when it was bluebell season um, I went to Garms World spring show a couple months ago and I did photos from that and I haven't quite put them in the video yet and then of course I have just watching it out on the bow pop um, I have done the canal festival recently um, do the subjects come easily to me I have a whole list of subjects upstairs on my whiteboard have I done all of them? no what generally happens is I end up doing videos of filming of something that just comes and pops into my head so like I've still got to finish off filming me doing my kitchen that I started like two years ago just before coronavirus hit as in doing the strips on the cabinets and I haven't finished doing my kitchen so that's another video that I've still got to finish and there's loads of videos that I could be doing on my YouTube channel. So yes, it is quite easy to find content to film, but it's actually getting around to filming them because of my working. Um, but yeah. Let's have a sandwich. I did these in little triangles. I'm very British. I'm a Marmite lover. The next question I've been asked is why do I put my line dried clothes in a dryer? Well, over here in the UK, we don't always get a lot of sunshine, but when we do, we can put them out on the line or air dry our clothes indoors. However, because of my very sensitive skin, I like to soften my clothes and put them in the dryer. But also, when Tiger was alive, he had a dust and pollen allergy. So all his bedding and anything I washed of my clothes that Tiger laid on would have to be 
dried either air up or on the line and then they have to go in the dryer to get rid of any excess any excess pollen or dust mites i've legged it because there's cat fight why did i start the channel i've already answered that one and what plans do you have for future videos well for future videos i'm just filming as i go along and whatever comes in my head um, I have kind of just answered that one, um, but as I say, I've got a lot of tidying to do in the house, um, because I must admit, I'm not the cleanest person, well when I say cleanest, tidiest person, and I still have my bedroom cupboard to go and sort out, and that has a whole load of paperwork in there, I really do need to sort that out, that's a big video. But also I haven't been through my wardrobe at all yet this year and I bought new t-shirts hello starling don't make me food um I bought a whole load of new t-shirts but they won't fit in the drawer where they should be so I've had to stack them elsewhere in the wardrobe so I really do need to do a decluttering video on my clothes in my wardrobe um as I say, I need to do a video on finishing off my kitchen um, DC film fix on the cabinets. Um, I also need to do grey grouting on the tiles. I've also got some new strip lights that are motion censored. Um, and I've bought some mug holder racks that go underneath the cabinets. Don't want to pop any more balloons, by the way. Um, so yes, there's kitchen video still to come, bedroom video still to come. So I have a little backlog of videos to actually, but I need to sit down, film. What? I have a spider on my cup of coffee. No, 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 no. I do not want a spider on me or my cup of coffee. Thank you. Um, anyway, where were we? So yes, I've got a whole load of videos that I need to film or even I've filmed and I need to edit. Don't worry, there's a lot of content still to come. If you could do anything in the world, what would it be and why? If I could do anything in the world, it would be to stop all wars. Let's live in harmony. Yeah? Um, another question how long have I lived in my current house and the simple answer is 10 years it was actually 10 years on the 4th of May 2022 um, if you did see the video I put up little friend my little robin's come to visit hello little robin oh my little robin's come to visit me he's just sitting on top of the bird feeder be careful of blue blue just spotted him too um so yeah I have lived in this house for 10 years and if you saw that video I'll put a link in the description and I'll post a little clip it up here um, but yes I've lived here for 10 years and when I first moved in this garden was just a lawn there's no fence there are no flowers there are no flower beds just a lawn but if you go back and look at that video you'll see it Um, next question what did you want to be when you were little compared to now well the answer to that is I actually can't remember what I wanted to be when I was younger so working in retail was not what I wanted to do um, but I also 
didn't know what I wanted to do, maybe something in the computer line. So I did actually go on to college and I ended up doing computer technician for a year in college. But before that, I actually did animal care. Yes, I did animal care. Subsequently, I got a job working in the care industry for people with dementia. I worked in a daycare centre. And then, after that, I worked at a residential home for about eight years. For the first year, well, probably first six months, I did caring. And then I went on to the domestic side. When I was younger, did I want to be a cleaner? I don't think so. But that's just the path that I was led on to. So I can't actually say what I actually wanted to do as a kid because I don't actually remember. So I know it's not a very helpful question, but there's your answer. <laughs> One thing can't you live without? Probably my family. Um, my dad and my brother do a lot for me, so without them, I'd be lost. But also, I was really lost after my cat Tiger died, but then I also had Blue, so without my dad, my brother and my cat, I would well and truly be lost. And the last question, because I only have eleven questions. So the last question would be, what would you tell your fifteen year old self? And that would be to not have anxiety and to get anxious. Because when I was fifteen, I was not anxious and I wouldn't get so stressed out like I do now so yeah unfortunately as life has gone on I have suffered more and more stresses and anxiety I guess partly losing family members trauma traumatic events um, the way the world is, what we've been through, coronavirus, that's brought a lot of anxiety in me. I still wear my mask when I'm out and about, even though the rules are much more relaxed now over here in the UK. I still go to indoor events, I still clean for my clients wearing my mask indoors, but I have got a bit more relaxed when I'm outside, like when I recently photographed the Rickersworth Festival. I didn't wear my mask, I took it with me on the first day, on the Saturday I took my mask with me, but I didn't wear it. And then on the Sunday I actually didn't even bother to take it with me. I kind of made myself a bit more relaxed. Now, that isn't the best thing to be relaxed about coronavirus, but I'm trying to learn to deal with my anxiety and not be stressed out. So yes, if I could give myself go back to my 15 year old self what would it be and that would be I'd look back and say there was no anxiety there was no stresses and I wish I was like that now and I smiled a lot more believe it or not I was a more happy-go-lucky person and I guess back then I didn't have as many things weighing me down on my shoulders want to say thank you for all my 11 questions and thank you guys as well for watching my channel um, this channel wouldn't be what it is without you guys watching and I am going to sit here with my very cold cup of coffee and I'm going to finish off these it's threatening like it's going to rain let's eat this and enjoy the rest of the celebrations. And of course, 
I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Welcome to a very special Platinum Jubilee celebration. Question and answers with me for my 100 subscribers. Let's get some food, get yourself a drink, and let's do this. I'm trying to film this video, but someone's lying on the lawn in their garden. Please just let me sleep. Welcome to a very special Jubilee Platinum Edition. That doesn't make sense. Am I really going to break your face off? So, that... I hope you have enjoyed this video and wherever you are I hope you have enjoyed watching the coverage of the Platinum Jubilee on TV. This celebration is one I definitely won't forget. My favourite moment during the fly past was when Louis and the Queen were interacting with each other. Little Louis probably really doesn't understand who the Queen really is and looking forward to the red arrows flying past and just enjoying the moment with his great grandmother. I've also loved seeing the images of the Queen projected onto Buckingham Palace. Oh, and also Paddington Bear having tea with the Queen. And them clinking to the tea saucers to We Will Rock You. How about the drones in the sky above Buckingham Palace? And of course, I'll leave you with this one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.